if I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Just make it quick, Geralt. Okay, so we find ourselves back in the tavern. This is where we left off after episode one. Our good friend Vesemir is up here having a drink on his own. These two buggers said something to me earlier, I think. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. So we've got our signs that can we can use to influence our conversations. Let's give it a shot. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> yeah, sit down. Okay, that was reasonably helpful. A very cosy looking place. For what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face card. Oh, they're there talking about Quint. Special cards. When you either play war, it's like to be near dawn before you get your game in Minnogin. Gunter? Oh, dim. Let's have a chat to Gunter. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Why not? Fine, I'll have a drink. If he's shouting. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Oh, he has. Look at the detail in this... Never Pretty mentioned game. her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Uh, how do you know her? Who might you be? Let's try that one. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodin. At your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror. Or the Man of Glass. Man of Glass, that sounds very familiar. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Yeah, so where is she? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Uh, of course it is. Why would I hide that? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Perhaps. Let's go have a look. Oh, hello. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck <laughs> off. Don't want your kind here. 
Oh, it's a bit unfair. Haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I uh you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft! <laughs> Get him! Oh well, worked on one of them. Right. Whoa. Okay. Oh, coming from both angles. Jeez. Ah, oh, there's one. Lock onto him. Done. Hey Roach. That trusty horse. Now I believe... Ooh, hang on. Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones. Yep, still you should save your progress early and often. Yes, okay. We shall do that. And I believe... This little gentleman Take here... May have some goodies for us from the bonus content. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I I'll let it go half free. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let me have a look at your stock. I believe you'll have an armor set for us. Yep, okay. Uh, maybe not. Tamerian armor. Why can't we level four? We may end up with something a bit better than that. We only have 250 coins. But we'll take the cards. Because they may disappear from here. Torn out page of Griffin. Well, we know we're going to fight a Griffin at some point, so we'll take that. Thirty maximum inventory weight, that sounds good. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Take care. Let's go do some looking around. So we've got a quest off to our left, but there's a notice board where we can find quests and all sorts of things. So whatever we hear, we've got Imperial Edict number 18 of 45. Wanted Deserter, Outdoor Relief, <laughs> Death to the Invaders, Brother Missing, that sounds like a Witcher, Witcher, uh, con oh here we go, contract there, Devil by the Well. There's a quest up here too. Quest update. One of your quests is updated. Yeah, notification. Come cool. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Hmm. No need to insult me. Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Yeah. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. 
banged ends out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a ploughing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Uh, we can find it for you. I can find your arsonist. We are a witcher. Provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in. So that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. But I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good hmm. luck. Let's track this quest. Right, so we'll head to... Yeah, stop it. We'll head to the back. Pick us some... Um, Herbs. And we'll have a look for any tracks or anything suspicious. Whoa. You're suspicious. Oh, there's some red. Here we go. Footprints. A man's. Large. Alright, so yeah, we're using when it looks like this. We're using the Witcher Sense, which highlights things around us in the world. Stinks of piss and vodka. <laughs> so he was drunk. Let's keep following. Find the son of a bitch who burnt down his blacksmithing. I'm not no freak. Took off his boots and went in the water. Oh, look at the water. We wanted to cover his trail. That looks awesome. Now let's pick him back up again if we can. Ah, here we go. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners, but he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Headed back into town. Tracks lead back to the village. Well, let's go find him. Oh, what's our buddy there? My grand told me about the Smith boy. Don't you look at that went missing one day, so bleeding, but not badly. Nearby, Surface wound. Oh, look at the geese. Even the they look real. Oh, so here we go. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Let's just pilfer what we can. <laughs> Love how they don't say a word. Yeah, I bet any guards would crack the shits at us. Oh. You right there? Don't mind me, just taking your shit. Ah, here we go. Drown her claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Huh. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I don't talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throat. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Oh, no. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, 
But I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. <laughs> Can't buy me, yet I work for gold. But at the same time, I gave my word. I would like to think I would keep my word. Where are you? Come on. Oh, he's a slow one. This world just looks so alive. Even the trees move individually, the branches. Come on. Of the little conversations too. Ah. Yep, yep, yep. So we have our signs, each one doing something different. And we'll go through them as we use them. And then two slots for bombs and one for a crossbow, I think. Come on. Do I have to stay with him? God, he's slow. The plague! Hey! Ow! The old witch see thee! Feel like he. Damnation! Oh, they're actually spitting at me. I thought that woman had a. a throat to clear. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, D didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. The Witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Oh, that's a bit rough, isn't it? Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Thank you very much. Oh, it looks like a storm's coming in. Look at the way it's changing. How cool is that? I wonder if we can find the tree that he's hung on. Wind's howling. I kind of feel bad now, but... It don't know. Look at that. Rolling in. Alright, so we'll follow. There's a quest up here, I think. Is there? Yeah, according to our tracker. Wow. I've never seen a storm roll in so almost realistically in a game before. 
trees are bending. That's bloody unreal. Oh, here's a quest. A little apostrophe on the mini map. Old woman. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have been me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran? Got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. And I says you ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Okay. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, but he's lying there. Yeah, why not? Won't take Never long. Never taken on a pan contract. <laughs> Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Okay then. No, we're not going. In. What? What are we doing? Let's uh, just try. Oh, okay. The odd sign here. You go. So. This sign here will blow a force out. Boom. So we can knock back enemies and things. Let's just help ourselves to her stuff. This doesn't seem to want to be here. And the Igni sign lights fires and shoots flame. That Which corpse is always explains the stench. Nice. She's standing right near it. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I do talk out loud. Torn out page. Fiend deco decoction. Take a diagram to craftsmen with the proper skills and have them craft it for you. Cool. What is that? Cracked monocle. Interesting. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. <laughs> yes, yeah, shut up. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Yep. Uh, I've got it for you. A priceless frying pan. Hmm. <laughs> Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Man, the shadows are cool. Alright, uh, let's give this old bird a, a frying pan and be on our way. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And. and the other fellow? Dead. 
Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Much obliged. Alright, so we're on our way. Call in Roach. Here he comes. Follow this marker to the next quest. To which quest we're going, I have no idea. Ooh. Question mark. Let's check it out. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Oop. And there's a creature there. Alright. Uh, stench. Shit! A wraith. Gotcha. Infused dust, wraith mutagen, essence of wraith. What do we got here? Ooh, ability point. I like me some ability points. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Wow, that's a large map. So we've got quests. Cool. Our character sheet. Oh, we can place one in there. Okay, cool. Ah. Ah, uh, what do we want to develop? Muscle memory, fast attack damage increased by 5%, that sounds good. Strength training, strong attack damage increased by 5%, that sounds good too. Deflect arrows, ooh. Lightning reflexes and resolve, I think we'll go. Muscle memory first. Uh, for ability to take effect, you must first activate it by placing it in an open ability slot. Okay. Awesome. And we can change them at any time. Mutagen can be used to enhance your abilities or create a special potion called a mutagen decoction. Open the air. We'll do that a bit later, I think. Let's head on to see what awaits us. Ooh. Who is this? A merchant. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. <laughs> what happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing. Slurping, something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. Ooh. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you, I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. 
Okay. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Let's track this quest. Uh, it's just up the road. There's something over there. Cart tracks. Rode off into the swamp. Is that it? No, it's a little brick house of some sort. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no. Bees or something. He's a monster. Tell me what you got. Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. So he said it ate his horse, unless there was a couple of them. An arrow. Didn't mention this. <laughs> no. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Little black box. That'd be it. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Let's get back to him. I want the truth. <laughs> yep. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. As my daughter would say. Let's go get him. I didn't kill him. Gotta get him out of here. <laughs> Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on a horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free North. Hmm. Yeah, free to go, but I'm keeping the medicine. You can go, but I'm keeping the medicine. Nilfgaard will find you and kill you anyways. Why should it go to waste? Take it, and choke on it. 
whatever. I don't have time to take him to the Nilf Guardians. Okay. On we go. This storm's lasting a while. Pretty awesome. This is the sort of weather I like. Feels like you want to just set up a fire, curl up under a blanket and have a hot coffee. Nice cappuccino. All the visibility's dropped. Okay, so we're asking the guards, or the Nilf Guardians, about Yennefer. Slower. Look at that. Ruins. Slow now. Whoa. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Sounds like they need help. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Sure thing. No, I better not pinch anything here. I reckon these guys will be all up in my face. I am Medetta. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. Seems I summoned nicer. the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Uh, what do you care? Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Temeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. That makes sense. He seems pretty decent, actually. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, 
The griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Uh, more information wouldn't hurt. Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. Hmm. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Alrighty, we're off then. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. This soon the actor. Well, he does actually seem pretty decent. Your current quest has more than one objective. You can choose which objective to track. Hmm. Craftsman can craft a variety. Yeah, we know that. Look! Nearly fell off the edge. Look at that. That'd be a great view if the storm would let up. I think we might call it quits here for the episode 2. Next episode we shall track down the hunter, have a look at the bodies, and then speak to this herbalist about the buckthorn. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, chuck down a like, press that subscribe button, because there's plenty more Witcher to come, and I shall see you in the next one.